Okay, let's send it over to Justin Rose in the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. Yeah, he has a preview of what's coming up today at 11 o'clock. Good morning, J. Rowe. Got a big Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave for you this afternoon. I'm joining me today from the Detroit News, Rod Beard. Rod, did you watch the Triple Crown? Do you care about the Triple Crown? I did not, and I do not. Hmm. I was waiting for somebody to stick a mic in front of American Pharaoh's uh, snout. <laughs> and say, hey, how do you feel about the race? Talk about this. No, no, it's it's not a big deal. Horse racing used to be one of the crown jewels of American pastime, but now, in like the way of boxing, it's kind of, eh. it's it's had its due. It's had its turn. Uh, let's move on to something else with humans that are actually participating. Humans that participate in a game called baseball. We'll talk a lot about that in the upcoming half an hour show starting at the top of the hour. Big thing, we're going to talk about Justin Verlander. You were there in Toledo yesterday as he made his second rehab start, and he looked pretty good, didn't he? Looked a lot, lot better than the last time. It looks like he's ready, ready to come back for the Tigers this week. And then also we have to talk about getting off the snide. I mean, they lost eight games in a row, and then last night, an explosion. 18 hits, seven runs. David Price mows down seven straight batters with strikeouts. Could that be potentially a little bit of boost and a kick in the right direction? It's amazing what offense does. When you score seven runs, you have a much better chance to win than when you score one or two. One other thing we got to talk about, Jim Harbaugh. I just got to stop there. Just let that all sink in for a second. Jim Harbaugh was seen running around a camp in Alabama without a shirt on. The dad bod is all the rage these days. We all know about that. I'm perfecting mine as we speak. Sculpting, sculpting. Sculpting, but uh, Jim Harbaugh, we're going to talk a lot about this, but real quick thoughts on is this a, a, a good thing to see your coach get into it when he's at these camps, or is it kind of a turnoff? He's the, he's the everyday man that he's not afraid to take off his shirt and get out there and get some sun that is widely needed on his body, but uh, I, I think that's a good thing for recruits to see that he's one of them almost. Jim. Got to get that base, man. You got to get that base tan down. So final thoughts here in the two-minute drill of the Suburban Ford 7 Sports here. We're talking Tigers. We're going to be talking about horse racing. We're going to be talking about more about hardball. Mark D'Antonio takes a stop right here uh, on the show. So a ton going on as the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave gets underway at the top of the hour. See you then. Hey, thank you, guys. We got to give Coach a break, though. I mean, uh, come on. I mean, it's hot down there. It's hot down there, but you got to get the base tan, Andy. Come That's on. true. True. He's like, hey, the khakis are tan. Yeah. Khakis are tan. <laughs> yeah, he, just, he just looks invisible running around here. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back.